Hi everyone, I'm George Elliott Clark, and I am reading from uh, this book, uh, my book titled Canticles One, published by Guernica Editions. And the poem I am reading from this book is Orfe Noir. Words smoke from my mouth. My speech incinerates grammar. This poet incarnates an insidious other. Here, nothing's as lecherous as reading, save writing under other writers' sway. I doth prostitute, multitudinous lays. Wine boils in my belly. Rum steams up my skull. Lynch me sucks and ne'er again booze. There's no grumbling in the grave that the living ever hear about. Worms be hell on books. Now, fair weather poets, honey-tongued, drool and slobber, but my lungs spring smoking tar. A versatile poet, full-throated, don't peter out, but apes a scofflaw chevalier. If I'm condemned, that's fine. Why bother to keep a corpse? Just shovel me under the dirt. I'll be magnificent, Adams, unfussy, exuberant, as insurgent as April. My sermons will spark carnivals, orgies, seething fires, chrome bright, due to my charging incendiary ink. And I am reading a poem from this book, which is titled uh, Canticles, Volume 1, 2017 in Roman uh, numerals. And the poem I am reading is titled Negro Inventory, Pache Leon Gontron Dama. Negro is bamboo, coffee, sugarcane. Negro is a bamboozled coffle of cigar shade, cayenne slaves. Negro is a hurricane. A hurried caning is also Negro, or Negro is canine, can do, cannibalism. Cannibalism is the Negro definition of capitalism. Negro is always candid. Negro serves as candy. Licorice, liquor, rice, commodities weight the Negro. Avarice is Negro, so is spice. Negro is orange or an orangutan's tangy guts. Negro is naturally chocolate. Negro is naturally chock-a-block weight. Every organ grown is Negro. Negro is the Athens of bones and the Rome of skulls. Negro is septic, and anti-septic is anti-Negro. Impudent rock gut virtuoso plonk, that's Negro abrasive at the White House, facing down fallacious applause, that's a Negro. Seduction is Negro, as is every price reduction, a violent Negro masks, an ingenious Negro, pathological polysyllables get voiced by every anthropological Negro. Negro got to be as thrifty as is breath itself, or death itself being Negro. Negro is shark mouths, piranha mouths, barracuda mouths that bite down as they talk. Fishy Negro talk. Their words cut pieces off everybody, just like Negro radicals who act like any ghetto razor blade Negro. Negro breeds, broods, and brats, squalls of girls and storms of boys unanimously Negro, and Negro to put down roots erects headstones, not huts. Negro is homeless. Negro is rootless. His groves are ruts. Negro is the core collapse, the chief crisis of Christianity. Each honest Negro doth say, God save you and fuck me. Happy to be reading for periodic periodicities, uh, to say it correctly. I'll be reading a poem from this book, uh, Canticles 2, uh, in Roman numerals 2019, published by Guernica Editions. This is the Song of Solomon, but my version, and it is the first chapter. The bride speaks, 
Let fiddles merely if melodious, not defective, and thus finesse our affection. Consume sweet potato and his kisses, I. Relish North Carolina sweet potato pie, we. And his French kisses, we. All quite kosher in the embouchure. His tongue drips honey into my mouth, thus gilding molasses. So lascivious is his tongue stabbing the last shred of wine. But a dust bowl is my palace in his absence. My bath is a vinegar dowsing in his absence. Jeez, my maid's nymphs lust for him, for his sweat's pearly liquor when flickering in candlelight. I am black and beautiful, O oh, ye daughters of music, like indigo, indignant with ebony, like onyx, optimized obsidian. Let none brand me as nightmarish, just cause the sun's lavished upon me its varnishing and ravishing rays. The soul of sunflowers be my essence, the summation epitome of every pitched blaze. Where my Lord was born is where ears solvent with gold. Oh, let me never be ousted from his gaze. Insatiable is my beauty to be apprehended. The bridegroom speaks, most preeminent of all Eve's daughters, how I love our froth, our solid steam, the smear of cream as our bodies tangle, doublishly angelic and blissfully hellish, thy breasts Proud juts compose a skyline sculpt in sable. The bride speaks. Our lovemaking is our bodies winching through, unflinching must, enough to make any voyeur swoon. Spy our slanting couple aboard a canting bed when thy creamy stick stirs my brown sugar. The bridegroom speaks. How beautiful thou art, my darling. How stainless thou art like sunlight, notwithstanding death, yet our bid is spicy furnishing, snuggling us where we lie as melodramatic as diamonds in no spectral opulence. <laughs>